Hi guys, my name is Amber and for today's video I want to do a 24 hour wreath, how much I haven't done in forever. So um, also before I begin, let's just start off with, yes, I look like a dumpster. Um, yeah, we'll just, I got off of work today and you know what? I didn't want to redo my hair. It was so windy today and it was just bad. I kind of tried, like I, I didn't even try. It's just, you're just going to have to deal with it. I'm not going to try to look all cute. Anyways, so yes, I want to do a 24 hour redo and I haven't done it in forever. Plus like my good reuse goal, it's just like, it's in the trash with my hair. So, <laughs> um, you know, we're trying to fix that. And so 24 hour readathon, that's perfect. Also, so I did the video, you know, I did the TBR video for the Owls readathon. I was like, yes, yeah, so pumped. Like, haven't done a readathon forever. So excited to love Harry Potter, yada, yada, yada. April came along. I failed. Let's just get it out there. I failed. I read, I think, like one of the books on my list. And yeah, so I'm gonna attempt to try to finish my TBR for the owls this month. It is already like pretty deep into the month and I haven't read anything, but um, you know, I have no excuses now. School's out, all I'm doing right now is just going to work, so I am like, there's no excuses, I need to read. Um, so starting with the first book that I'm trying to finish, I started this, I think, in March, and I still haven't finished it. This is Six of Crows. Um, it's so good. I don't even, I'm just in the worst reading slump, and for some reason I can't make myself read, but I'm, like, really in the big reading mood, so I'm ready to delve into the world of, like, just reading nonstop. Um, I am, like, literally, like, 70-something percent into this. I'm a good chunk of of the way into this so I should I, I'm reading the audiobook with this so I think I have like two hours left and I'm good so that's already going to be one book finished after that I really 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 want to start Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire it'll be my first time reading this I know a lot of people have already read the series but I have been slowly like trying to read the series for the first time so yeah, I'm really excited. I have so far loved the first three books. I don't know. That's my goal. I'm just going to get started into reading and hopefully I can complete my goals today. watching Netflix together <laughs> so I woke up early this morning so I could go to Chupo Way and get breakfast and I'm gonna I plan on reading two whole books today so let's do that let's do it <laughs> okay so it is 10 56 and like two or three minutes ago I literally just finished Six of Crows. I am like, I'm so excited for the next book. Um, I'm happy, I'm sad, I don't know. I can't really say much of my emotions, I feel like, without spoiling it. But, um, loved the characters, but also hate them, <laughs> you know, like, cause they're all like morally gray. And so, you know, some of their actions, I'm like, can you not? But also, like, okay, Kaz, like, he's so smart. Like, I love that for him. He's, like, so smart. He, he's able to come up with, like, with these plans so easily. And I think that's, like, so cool. And, um, you know, I feel like I really just can't say anything else without spoiling. But, bruh, this was so good. Like, I just can't get over 
how good this was. Okay, now I'm gonna get to like the spoilery bits because I don't, re I really don't know what else to say. Other than I highly suggest like reading it for the people that like haven't read it. Like I highly suggest reading it. Like the world is just like, like chef's kiss. Like it's so good, and I'm so glad I already have the second book and I have the audiobook like already set up and everything. So like I can go straight into it if I like, but um. I need to get on with some other books first before I get into the next book, but um, yes, yeah, spoiler, spoilery parts. Okay, we love Nina for being a hero, sacrificing herself to like save everyone by taking the Jura Parem or however it's pronounced. Like, I love that. We stand Nina. Um, Ugh, I'm mad at Kaz like I'm so he's so smart and like yes we love that for him but like bro I have like so many I have like this part that I remember that I literally put green because I was just so mad because I put green green for like angry parts that I don't like um it's the part where um I think they're on the ship and I literally just read it and I'm already forgetting and then Nina, I mean Nina, Inej goes to Kaz and she's like, he, well, she tells him her plan. She's like, oh, I'm going to leave, yada, yada, yada. And then Kaz is like, wait, like, stay for me. And then she's like, okay, so if I stay for you, will you, like, you know, basically she kind of was asking for him to change his ways. So I feel like that's kind of bad of her for doing that, you know, asking someone to change. But like, also, if he wants her so bad, you should change her ways. And then, of course, he just sits there in silence. Like, he just doesn't say anything. So. But I also kind of understand because he's so traumatized after, like, everything. Because she was, like, the one of the things she's asking for is, like, hey, like, I want to touch you. Like, I want to be with you. And he's, like, you know, he's so traumatized from what happened in his childhood. So I can understand. But also, like, for love. Like, just do it, bruh. Um, but like, ugh, I hate that he had to look over because he was so scared for her when, um, Van Eck or whatever, he was like, he looked over, I mean, he was like, oh, kill everyone. And then he, Kaz got scared and looked at an edge and he was like, perfect, we'll kidnap an edge. And I'm like, no, um, but I'm so excited to find out what his plan is in the second book. Cause you know, he told Pekka Rollins, he saved Pekka Rollins, which I was shook, but then he told him like, hey, like. I got a plan and I'm gonna figure this out so I'm excited because obviously the second book is like his plan to get his money save a edge and all that uh this is like way too long of an update but um yes I'm just so excited for the second book but right now I'm gonna put this away I don't know if you can even see but yes I have the Cookie Kingdom and I'm so excited to get into that also sorry for my annoying squeaky chair but um now we're gonna get into Goblet of Fire and I'm so excited. She's so thick as I've mentioned like a thousand times. So I like, I mean, I wanna stay positive, but I feel like I'm not gonna be able to read the whole thing. So I don't know. I'm thinking about like trying to see how far I can get into it. And then starting to kill a kingdom because this is smaller and I have the audiobook for it and I think it was only like four or five hours and I feel like I, that's more like doable so like read this for like three or four hours and then read this for like four hours and yeah so that's what I'm thinking right now but I don't know yet for sure but I know for sure I'm starting this right now so yeah, I'll update you when there's more to say after I've read more of Harry Potter. Okay, so kind of good, but kind of bad news. I mean, it's mostly bad news. Um, It's 6.06, .06, and I think the last time I updated was like 11 something. Um, And I was like, okay, like I'm so ready, like I'm gonna read. And <laughs> so like I got into some stuff on the computer and then I got like way too sidetracked. Then, once I finished with that, I was like, alright, I'm gonna take a break from that, I need to get to reading. But then I got in bed to, like, read, and I was like, I feel tired. Because last night, I stayed up till, like, 1am, not reading, just, like, I just stayed up. And then I woke up at, like, 7-something this morning, 
and so like you know that wasn't a lot of sleep and so i ended up taking a nap and i took like a nap for like an hour then i woke up and i tried to read i got to page 20. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm really ashamed of myself. It's 6 or 7. Oh, I think I already said that. Um, but technically after, so the good news part is, like, I realized. So last night I was like, oh, like, I'm gonna start, like, at 8 something. I don't remember even, even, like, what time I mentioned or if I mentioned a time. But I remember I started around 8 something. And I read for, like, 20 minutes, literally. And then my friends texted me. I was like, hey, let's watch Netflix together. And I was like, okay. And then I just, like, stopped reading and I watched Netflix with them. And then... So basically the point is, I, d I basically didn't start last night the 24 hour readathon. I read for 20 minutes, but does that really count? Probably not. Because then I didn't read again after I watched Netflix with them. Um, I didn't start till the morning, till like 10 something. So technical, or not 10, it was like 8 or 9, 9-ish. Um, so technically I didn't start till like 8 or 9-ish. So technically for 24, oh my gosh, how many times can I say technically? The 24 hours would last until tomorrow but i have work in the morning so what i'm trying to imply is i still have i could basically read to like midnight and then i could just like go to bed is what i'm thinking um so yeah i'm my goal because i just 100 percent know that i'm not gonna finish this so my goal is to at least get halfway through um in the my daughter fire um, so yeah, that was just my update. It's gotten very late and I've made some bad decisions. So yeah, I'll update again when I have hopefully good news that I've read half the book. All right, so it's official. It, this 24 hour readathon is just, it's over. We're cutting it. And I ended it off with finishing To Kill a Kingdom. So in the last clip, I was like, oh, I'm going to finish Harry Potter, but I'm really like at least read half of it or whatever I said but you know what like after that i realized like i felt like that wasn't possible because i was reading it so slow and plus i really wanted to annotate it and take my time with it so i was like okay this is not a good book for a 24 hour readathon so i decided to read to kill a kingdom again like i stated like i had the audiobook and i made it it made me read it like way faster which is better for a readathon to read a book fast um but yes yeah, so i can say i read two books during the 24 hour readathon so i think i did pretty good um but yes, this was good. I gave it 4.5 stars. It was so good. It didn't give me that like that five star feeling, you know, in my heart, but I gave it a 4.5. So this book is basically a Little Mermaid retelling, but like not also because it's like a really dark mermaid, Little Mermaid retelling. So the main character, Lyra, she is a princess and her, the queen, her mother, of course, is basically like in the Little Mermaid story, Ursula is basically the queen in this story. And she's still evil, just like Ursula is. And so then she, her daughter gets in trouble. And then the queen makes her daughter turn into a human. And is like, if you want to come, become a siren again, because they're not mermaids. Um, they're sirens. And sirens are like considered lower in the this world. But she's like, if you want to become a siren again, you have to kill this prince. And then, so she goes on this journey with the parents and yada, yada, yada. Stuff happens. And it's just very good. So I highly suggest reading it. But um, yeah this 24 hour readathon is officially over i'm so glad i got that over with um i feel really accomplished finishing two books but um yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um give this a like comment what books do you think i should read for the next one that would be easier i feel like if you'd like and subscribe please and yeah thanks for watching and bye